Oh, great. Adorable little blonde-haired, blue-eyed g- girl. <laughs> Who's this remind you of? Our Is that daughter? What you're yeah. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And tonight, we got a fun one. A scary movie from the 80s, but it's rated PG. Cool. Poltergeist. <laughs> Yay! And this is one of the films that actually sparked the debate of, uh, I think we should have something in between PG and R, because it's kind of a little scary, scary enough, for, but not gruesome enough or something. Just parental guidance, right? Also, it's produced by Steven Spielberg. Okay. And also, this weekend, it's celebrating the 40th anniversary of its release. So wow. that's why we're watching it. We're going to go through the whole Poltergeist trilogy. So... I hope you're excited for that. All of them? Yep. Right now? Well, not tonight. <laughs> well, for the next couple weeks. Great. Yeah. Do you know anything about Poltergeist? I am assuming it's about some sort of like ghost or I think you'll creature. get some of the pop culture references that this movie has given other films. Okay. Quote wise as we go through it. Okay. Other so. than I don't I don't know anything about it. I'm like I said, polter the word poltergeist I am aware of, so What's it mean? Like a, an evil ghost or like a, a demon like spirit okay. or something like that. All right. Well, should we jump in and see what it's all about? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. But first, I'll like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, it'll be worth it tonight. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Also, have social media. So, if you like Twitter, Instagram, you can follow us at You Me The Movies on both of them. Yep. Check us out. Let's watch Poltergeist. Okay. <sighs> Am I gonna get a jump scare like, like just we like I just had an until dawn. That was gonna be a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Should have your hat off, but where is the flag? What? I need a flag. Where's the flag? Oh. And the rocket wrecked, the bombs bursting in air. How are we looking at it? the only image that I recognize. Back in the day when the TV channels shut off, they played the national anthem. When it was so late that there was no programming. Yeah. It's crazy. This dog's just checking on everybody. Making sure they're all tucked in. He's just looking for food. He doesn't care about them. He's leaving some behind. Adorable little blonde haired, blue eyed g- girl. <laughs> Who's this remind you of? Our that daughter? Yeah. Just don't cu- ever cut her hair like that. We'll be okay. No bangs. She's got my forehead. She can't. Can't have bangs? Well, she probably should have bangs, but. She's adorable. I'm gonna hate this. Five. Six. Hello. I don't know. What? What the f- was she talking to? The TV. This is a family film. It looks like it. I don't know if Steven Spielberg did did horror. This is back in the 80s. He didn't really direct horror, but he produced a lot. Like this, Arachnophobia, which we're watching pretty soon too. Gremlins. Good for him. Riding his bike to get the beer. (laughs) 
Oh man. Perfectly good beer. Those RZ cars got some range. He's not even pissed about it. Beer everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Your wife should be pissed at you. That's back when the Rams were in Los Angeles. Oh. Before they went to. Yeah, they're back in Los Angeles. Did the little girl kill this bird? She got caught. Tweety doesn't like that smell. Sweetheart, Tweety can't smell a thing. Put a flower with them. Ooh. Is that natural? Oh, don't eat it, dog. <laughs> He's like, I'm totally digging this up later and eating this thing. Mom, when it rots, can we dig it up and see the bones? Robbie, will you come on down out of the tree, please? E Buzz. Can I have a goldfish now? <laughs> oh, she got over that pretty quickly. Yep, moving right along. Can I get it? That's enough. That is enough. She's still feeding it. Oh my god. She's gonna kill those things. <laughs> yeah. It's a creepy looking tree. Close your blinds, Buster. One second. You know what happens when you overfeed goldfish? They grow up to be shark <laughs> No, you just really dirty the tank. And then they probably die from dirty tank water. Come on. In you go. He's got some sweet Star Wars toys. I like the alien poster on the wall. This kid's got taste. He likes alien, but he's afraid of the tree outside of his window. You know what? I will bet you anything. It's genetic. That's why Tweety didn't like the smell of that box. <laughs> what if we, like, dig the pool, you know? And Caroline sleepwalks and she falls into it before there's any water. Yeah, uh, or what if she falls in when there is water? Where is honey? Before, after, before, <laughs> after. <laughs> he hadn't even started smoking yet. <laughs> <laughs> Why the f they have a creepy ass clown in their room? <laughs> Because it's a scary movie. What's on the back of his jacket? Oh, Chewbacca. <laughs> I don't like the tree, Dad. This is an old tree. It's been around here a long time. It looks at me. It knows I live here. She's calling Ghostbusters. <laughs> I don't think they're in business yet. You count till you hear the thunder. If you can count higher each time, that means the storm's moving away from us. Do you know the counting trick? Mm hmm Most people have learned it from this movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Night, Dana. Good night, Dana. <laughs> Trying to hide the phone. And you can hear you talking on it through the door. Why aren't we turning the television off before we fall asleep? T 
237. Don't start with the times with me, okay? <laughs> going to end up waking up at 237 I, yep, tonight? I will wake up at the exact time that, it, that the demons come. How obnoxious. Strobing light. Ugh. Do you see the demon in this movie? <gasps> oh, jeez. Who's they? I don't know who's they. That's the iconic line. They're yeah. here. It's Tweety's ghost. Sweetheart, last night when you said they're here, well, who did you mean? Who's here? The TV people. Why would they do that? Why did his glasses break when he grabbed it? Let's not cat call a 13 year old. <laughs> Her mom's like so proud. <laughs> like, that's my girl. <laughs> I think that was Billy from Predator. Somebody I recognized. I recognized him. I just don't know who he is. Spot on the wall, your leader now. <laughs> Pork and beans in the morning. Who was sitting in those chairs? <clears throat> Her tea party friends. We have a batteries not included sort of situation happening. Do you see them? Uh-uh. Well, I tell you, I think you're really going to enjoy this kitchen. <laughs> Trying to sell the house. <laughs> Where do you live, Mr. Freeman? Oh. Well, you know, actually, we were the first... All the homes were the same. I, I have this neighbor. And he built his jacuzzi in his bedroom, and it has a running aqueduct connected to a wading pool outside. And it's Why would you want that? <laughs> so you can slide out into your pool from your hot tub. It's in your house. <laughs> oh, they're like excited about it. It's fun. Now reach back into our past when you used to have an open mind, huh? Use your stoned head, right? <laughs> What's doing that? The poltergeist. <clears throat> oh God. She's like encouraging her. Here, take my kid. family's ever been affected by him. Uh, ben. <laughs> ben. Really? Are they high? Dishes or furniture moving around by themselves. <laughs> Look, I'm the one who's had to live with this freaky thing all day and nothing bad happened. <laughs> Give it some time. <clears throat> Oh my god, it took him? Holy sh! How the f 
to explain this to the neighbors. Oh, God! How's the tree gonna eat him? God, please save that boy. Where are you taking them? I don't understand. I don't get it. It's the clown. Where'd she go? I don't know. I don't really understand what's happening. She's in the TV now. She's in the TV. This is hard to explain. But she's stuck in the TV now. How do we get her out of the television screen? Uh, 3D printer, maybe? I can understand a ghost. I can understand possession. I cannot wrap my head around being sucked into a paranormal dimension. Yeah. I can't wrap my head around that. Would your family welcome... A serious investigation of these disturbances. Yeah, bring your priest. Pounding in the flash. Screaming. Music. How long has it been since she's been sucked in the TV, you think? I don't know. Well, how many disturbances have you recorded in the room? We don't go in the room anymore. How are you supposed to get her out of the closet that she got sucked into? Just flying around the room. It was Hulk on a horse. I, what I meant to say was it might very well be a poltergeist. In Poltergeists are just ass. <laughs> Usually. Poltergeist disturbances are a fairly short duration, perhaps a couple of months. So we're happy it's a poltergeist. Then we don't have much time, Dr. Lush, because my daughter is alive somewhere inside this house. Remember in Haunting a Hill House, the house absorbed people? I don't. Put them in the red room? Yeah. But she just moved through me. My God. I felt her. Does that mean she's a ghost now? What was that? I got no idea. Where exactly do you suppose Carol Ann was playing when she vanished from sight? F***ing bedroom. She wasn't exactly playing. Something took a bite out of me. You cut that? What bit him? I don't I don't understand this poltergeist situation. <laughs> it isn't over. I'm absolutely terrified. <laughs> <laughs> if I got killed, could I visit her and show her how to get back here? You could tie a rope around me. I don't Poor thing. They resist going into that light. However hard the light wants them. I'm going towards that light. Yeah. But it, uh, if the opportunity presents itself. Diving right in. Going to the light. All right. <sighs> Maybe they just have to turn to the right channel and she comes out. They're just on the wrong frequency, you think? Yeah. It's like that time when you were 
adjusting the radio dial, you can sometimes get the signal, but not mm -hmm. fully, and you gotta go a couple more. Uh oh. I see you need a chicken drumstick and a steak. Oh, oh, gross. Uh oh. Oh, oh god. Gross practical effects. So apparently that bite was not a good thing. That was terrifying. Yeah, it's one of those scenes that's this shouldn't be rated PG. <laughs> Something's coming. Oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Girl, Anne. Where to go? WTF. Look at all of them. Is that our house? Oh, geez. Why are they all wearing hats? Just taking a taxi to Grandma's, that's yeah. right. <laughs> I'm leaving Ryan here with you. Marty won't be coming back. You get freaked the he out. He ripped his face off in the bathroom. And I'll bring some help. Try not to worry. Who's gonna help them? The Ghostbusters. If you feel like going for a little ride, I'd like to show you something. Do you know where they got her daughter? <laughs> One of your children was born in your house, huh? Carol Ann. She was born in the house. That's how long they moved there. All of this can be your master bedroom suite. That can be your view. Interesting. Why would you want to look at all the houses in the valley? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cemetery. How much room for pool is there? We own all the land. A... We've already made arrangements for relocating the cemetery. Oh god, you can't just relocate a cemetery. We've done it before. When? In 76. Phase one. Quest of Birdie? All 300 acres, and let me tell you, it was quite a deal. No, no, but I never heard anything about it. Though. 300 acres of burial ground? I think that's the problem? Well, I would say yes, that's what is probably causing all these issues. I'm not a real believer that, like, cemeteries carry... Ghosts. Souls. Souls. Okay. You're jamming my frequencies. <laughs> She's a medium. Your daughter is alive and in this house. She must be hungry. <laughs> Honey, you're gonna be strong for me and for your daughter. I could do absolutely nothing without your faith. You can't go into that room. Oh boy, is she gonna have to sacrifice somebody? <laughs> a terrible presence is in there with her. So much rage. I've never sensed anything like it. It has been using her to restrain the others. To her, it simply is another child. It is the beast. What's that mean? I do not know. Now let's go get your daughter. Hell yeah. I like her. Call to her. Quickly, who is she more threatened by, you or your husband? 
Neither. Who, who, who would that be? be? Yeah, who would that be? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Me? Well, when I get mad, they all listen. <laughs> when I get mad, she cries. <laughs> That's why the tree attacked the boy, because he was afraid of it. Mm. And so the closet sucked her in, because she was afraid the of the light, closet. Yeah. I mean, Oh, they're testing it. I'm just gonna throw a tennis ball down. Ooh. Doctor Les, it's my hand right. It came right out of thin air. Covered in goo, though. Give me your hand. Go, Mama. Throw her. Yep. Get in there. Grab her when you're in there. I'll pull you back out. You have? <laughs> You're right, you go. <laughs> <laughs> go get your girl. She's focusing. <laughs> slippery, slippery little suckers. Ectoplasm. Hurry. You got it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Carol Ann. Hi, Daddy. Yay! She's like, where are all these people? You got strawberry jelly all over you. This house is clean. Have you heard that line before? No. This house is clean. I've never heard it before. They're like, yeah, we're getting the f out of here. Mom, I'm going to dinner with Janice and Brian. Okay, is your room all packed up? Everything but the bed. Mom. Are we going to sleep here tonight? Uh, no way. Because Dad wants us to stay at the Holiday Inn on I-74. Oh, yeah, I remember that place. You what? I feel a hungover, like I've been asleep for a few days, but I feel good, Stephen. I really do. Is the house really clean? Maybe, but I wouldn't risk it either. She didn't seem to remember any of it. Thank God. I don't remember how many waffles she ate after she came out of that. <laughs> she doesn't feel like it's over yet. Directly from applicator to hair. Gently work it through. Oh no, don't play in that room. Oh no. I don't feel good about this. Oh no. Is she gonna get sucked on the drain? Maybe Freddy will get her. I don't feel good about this. Why do we insist on keeping this clown? He obviously loves it, right? <laughs> uh oh. Did she do that? Your brother just did. Tub scene, knees together, not apart. Nightmare on Elm Street always got that wrong. Okay. 
<gasps> Jeez. Not again. Are you kidding me? I'm sweating. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Don't do it, Carolyn. God, please get your kids the f out of this house. Carolyn, tell him to f off. And now the f living dead here now? Come on! She's sticking around in the swim pool. The kids are getting eaten by these things. Plow your ass right through that door. Come on. God, I hate this. Get to your sweet ass time, Craig. This son of a bitch, you moved the cemetery, but you left the bodies, didn't you? This son of a bitch, you left the bodies and you only moved the headstones! You only moved the headstones! Why? That's really fed up. Oh my god. hate this. <laughs> What's happening? What is Lady, get, the car. get in the car, dummy! F oh, now everyone's experiencing it and not just them? There goes the neighborhood. They're going to take the house back. How do you explain that one? <laughs> Shoot localized black hole. <laughs> See the daughter had hickeys all over her neck? Yeah. Good choice. I will never watch TV again. Yeah. Strictly a radio family from here on out. There's more of these, huh? Yep. Lovely. More poltergeists. It's the same family. What? Yeah. Well, they did say that a poltergeist attaches to a person. Yeah. And not... A it's house. attached to Carol Ann. All right. Ugh, poor thing. Yeah. Poor little nugget. It was using all of their fears to attack them. Mm -hmm. Like there at the end, the mother was getting attacked by, by her sleepwalking and falling into the pool. Oh, yeah. So it was like forcing her to go into the pool. Mm -hmm. And then all the bodies came rising out of the ground that they never moved. Mm -hmm. What a huge mistake. Yeah. You gotta at least relocate the bodies, yeah, too. Yeah, for real. Like, if you're gonna relocate a cemetery, it must include the bodies, mm -hmm. not just the headstones. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't even be able to... I mean, if people are only six feet under, how are you digging foundations for all these houses? 
Exactly. They're very liberal with the building codes there. Yeah, they probably weren't digging foundations, <laughs> right? Yeah. So what do you think? That was weird. Yeah? Yeah, that was a weird one. This is one of the classics. I think it kind of, it takes all the, like, people's, you know, claims of what happens in hauntings and poltergeist, you know, paranormal activity kind of act, and they kind of threw it all into one I, movie. Yeah, I think it was maybe just a little too out there yeah. to be, like, that scary for me then. Like, because it just took it a little so... so it sucked into the... Yeah, like, they just took it a little too far that it became more unbelievable for yeah. me than... Like the tree coming alive and trying to eat the kid. Right. Too much for you. It's just like, okay, yeah. well, that's the kind of story this is then. Yeah. Actually, I love this franchise. I remember the two and three are also a lot of fun. Just the way they change things up a little bit. And uh, what do you think of, uh, oh, I can't remember her name, but the, the medium that they brought Oh, I liked the her, end. Kim. Yeah. This house is clean. This house, she posed for it. This house is clean. That line is... I feel like we've watched a movie where they've said that. I don't on recall. Our channel. I don't feel like I've ever heard that line before. I'm pretty sure Fletch has said it too. Where have you heard the lines from Poltergeist and other pop culture? Yeah, other references? pop cultural yeah. references. Let us know. Lines. And where does Poltergeist line up in your scary movies? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thanks for hanging out for Poltergeist. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe if you are up to it. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos for the commentaries or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.